Hi, my name is Greg and I'm an artist working in Seattle. I like to work outside of the gallery and museum model and find unconventional ways and unconventional places to show art. I started Lundgren Monuments in 2002 with the idea of transforming the American Cemetery into a sculpture park, or at least bringing it back to the significance that it had at the turn of the century. I found that the American Cemetery is in dire need of an extreme makeover and I think that artists and designers are the right people to play that role. My memorials are made out of cast glass and granite and my, my interest is to bring color and diversity and things that are unique to, into the cemetery landscape. My hope is, is to bring other artists and designers into that conversation around death and dying and what memorialization could and should look like. I think it's important to bring art to where the people are, and I think we quickly realized that people like to drink. Um, in 2005, my business partner and I, Jeff Scott, opened up a little bar called The Hideout on First Hill. And it's not that large, but it is packed with art. We have over 90 different regional artists um, showing on the wall. We have a robotic art dispenser which sells stories and small sculpture, and I think that it's important to use businesses like bars and restaurants as venues for exhibition and display. Opened in 1953, Vito's Restaurant was for decades a hub of political and social life in Seattle. When Vito sold the restaurant in 1994, it started to fall into disrepair. In, in 2010, my business partner and I had restored the club and one of our main focuses was to use it as a place to bring in Seattle artists. One of the things that we did was commission Warren Dykeman to create a 40-foot mural in the lounge. We had uh, Jesse Edwards recreate some of the original artwork from Vito's on oil and canvas, and we employed Jennifer Zeil and Jason Puccinelli to create a diorama in the Cougar Room, which most people think is original to the club. In addition, we have live music five nights a week, and I'm very proud of the fact that we have over 1,200 hours of free live music that's open to the public. We just celebrated our five-year anniversary at Vito's, and I'm really excited about bringing more art and more music in here in the next decade to come. Seattle is changing so fast, but I am still a firm believer that there is space to be had. And I think for our arts community, we have to be scrappy and keep our eyes open and uh, look out for it. Case in point, we're at King Street Station, which has not had a tenant in probably 25 years. Uh, I've been looking for a space to put on an exhibit tandem to the Seattle Art Fair that showcased our region's fantastic contemporary artists. I've been down here for about five months, and I'm gonna stay here as long as they will let me. I've got a lot of things in store, and I the next one that's real big, that's exciting, is called Giant Steps, which is an artist residency program on the moon that posits the idea of what would you do making art in space. Hope you can join us on March 3rd at King Street Station. Thanks.